Hi, I'm Brian Iverson. I'm the T Stud Guy. So before this course, this is like class, right? Before this course, we talked about why use the bare naked T Stud. Okay, this this class, this portion of this, is how to make a higher R value, how to turn it into seven and a quarter. Take the five and a half, take your two by six or our five and a half inch bare naked T Stud that's already got the built in thermal break already through it, right? So how, how do you take that and how do you build a higher energy efficient wall simply? And I'm here to tell you that that double staggered stud wall is a thing of the past, okay? So, so this is the bare naked T stud. So we do have these coming out in seven and a quarter, okay? So we're trying to work with the two by eight in case you use a two by eight for the top plate and bottom plate. When it comes straight down to it, you don't have to be worried about you know that you have to stick with seven and a quarter or you have to stick with this or you have to stick with that. So this is simply taking this and scabbing on, nailing on another flange on top of this, okay, to make it deeper, right? So the deeper you make it, the more insulation you get in your wall cavity and depending upon how you add on your framing members onto the top of this, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your thermal break down to 0.8 you might get it down to 0.4, depending upon how you frame it. Do you add on, do you add on a, a piece that goes on like this and screw that on or ring shank nails? Or do you go this way? Do you go perpendicular? Okay, that's, that's pretty interesting to think of doing it that way, right? So you can go either this way, because now you picked up a thermal break. You got, you got this thermal break here, plus you picked up this thermal break. Right, so you can run this parallel. Does there's nothing stopping you, or you can just scab them on this way. Okay, so being a carpenter, I'm going to teach you one thing of how to how to your your sheet rocker is not going to like you, and your your uh, insulator putting the poly up that guy's probably not going to like you either. Okay, so I finished up the last talk. This is the bare naked T stud uh, brochure. Okay, so. I don't really want to build brochures for this because there's all sorts of ways for you to do this. I'm going to show you the math. The math is available online, but we're not going to change the brochure for you. Okay, so this way, this way, okay. I'm going to show you some basic math. Okay, so I calculated out all the math the same exact way. I literally took the flange, the spline, the framing members. I added on, okay, so there are a couple different ways for you to do this, okay. You can go buy a two by two, already made for you. You don't have to rip them, nail these on. But obviously if you take, this is an inch and a half, nail that to your five and a half and you got to seven. Okay, you don't really care. You don't need to have seven and a quarter because you're not gonna use a two by eight for a top plate or a bottom plate. Why, that would be foolishness, right? Okay, so what I did is I ripped a two by four and a half. Okay, so this is, this is um, uh, one and, and 11 sixteenths, one and 11 sixteenths, analytical, right? So I screwed that to, right up to the spline like that. So this was my outside inch and a half, and then this became four inches, 4.15 actually. So I'm 7.15 deep. That's what this math is. But I know darn well that that's 7.15. You could have gone out and you could have said, I want a little bit better. So this is a rip two by six, right? So that's two and three quarters on your five and a half, right? So the wall doesn't care. You just have to figure out how much money your client wants to spend, how energy efficient you want the wall assembly, and then just plug and play. So this, this whole, um, this is an Excel file. So this will be online available for you. Then you just start plugging in your installations. There's a, I'm not gonna break it all down completely for you. So you're still gonna have to do some math, but you can get her scores like way in the toilet going this route. Um, okay, so back to my, my, this is my standard piece, okay? So all the math is right here. Okay, so here's what it does. Build your own, BYO, BYOW, I guess I forgot that. Here's your two by four, two by six, 19.7 R value, 0.051. The people listening to this, we're gonna go by that bottom number, right? Okay, so two by six with a R5 on the outside, you get to 0.041, okay? So there's already an area in California that's 0.042, and I believe that they're gonna now make it 0.039, okay? 
So here's a 7.15 inch bare naked tea stud and only putting in cellulose, mineral, or an open cell foam, okay? R value 3.7, you got the R value to 28, and you got your U value to 0.036. So I know I can go into a house, I can rip all the two by fours, and I can, and I can strip the whole entire inside of the structure out, either parallel or perpendicular, doesn't make any difference to me. I'll do a 2,400 square foot house by myself in a day. That's how fast you can go. Okay, if you've blown in fiberglass, Look what you're doing. In our value of 31, you're down to 0.032. This is where you start getting to be where you need to be if you're gonna to try to get into this area right here, getting closer to net zero, okay? Or uh, uh, passive house standards. Here's a seven and a quarter inch bare naked T stud with a blown in fiberglass with an R5 on the outside. You got the R value to 36.7. You got your U value finally under 0.03. So you're down to 0.027. All right, now I don't know how many people are actually gonna do this, but this is, this is how we intend to build um, uh, our, our, so US Engineered Wood is the, is the US based uh, company and it owns Engineered Wood of Canada. So the buildings that we intend to build for ourselves, all the manufacturing buildings themselves are actually this one right here, because we wanna build the most energy efficient manufacturing structures because we were out to prove a point. So they'll be completely made out of wood. Every single post in there will be the T-Stud Mass Timber product. All of the tall wall series will be every single wall to 24 feet tall. And this is what we're doing right here. We're gonna get a contract rate out of a spray foam company, but this is closed cell foam. 46 is our R value because our goal is to get the U value to 0.02. That's our goal for every wall assembly and the roof. That's our goal right there because we make enough heat up in our manufacturing process that even in Canada, we believe that we're gonna be able to heat the whole entire structure with almost nothing extra other than the manufacturing itself. So this is, this is all sick, ridiculous math, but it's just a function of what are you gonna frame that wall with, right? Are you gonna use a two by two? Uh, are you gonna use a ripped two by four? You're gonna use a ripped two by three? All you gotta do is screw these on, right? Screw them this way or screw them that way so that they can't come off and go build your assembly. Okay, so now I'm also a journeyman sheetrock taper. Okay, so when you, go to, when you go to put this on, let's just do it perpendicular, right? It goes all the way up. If you leave this three quarters of an inch uh, below the ceiling so that the drywall runs over the top, obviously your poly guy had to run the poly over, down, out, and down the face but you don't want all your insulation falling from the top down into your wall cavity space, let's say. So drop this down three quarters of an inch so that you, you can get your drywall up and over the top, okay? Run it all the way down to the bottom. Obviously, if you run them all parallel or perpendicular to the wall, right, your, your trimmer is gonna like you because uh, you'll end up with the space at the bottom. Um, at the top, I would drop that down or Maybe just let your bottom go that way and build them all on top of it like that. You have to figure out what's best for you and your people on how you want to do that, but unhook everything. Unhook the ability of that cold and that heat to come through that wall. So there's my education for you. That's how simply to build your own wall assembly, build your own R value, and build your, take responsibility and build as close to a net zero structure as what you possibly can. Because all these structures especially you screw them together. You know, that's like a 400 year standard. That's all that they do in Europe. So you're, you're, you're listening to this because you want to get as close to carbon neutral as possible. You want to build the most energy efficient structure as possible. Well, we gave you the tool, right? We gave you the tool to get your, to get your continuous, your continuous um, insulation because every bare naked tea stud is made with the dowels through it and they take up 0.8%, okay? So, but we're, we're structural, we're wind, we're sound, we're seismic, we got everything going for us. And then you just decide how much of an R value that you wanna have in that wall assembly and just go ahead and add on, build it in the field to whatever you want. That's it. I'm Brian Iverson, I'm the T-Stud guy. We're here to help you.